Libya's first female foreign minister and top diplomat, Najla Mangouj, has been sacked. That follows an announcement by the Israeli foreign ministry of a meeting between Mangouj and her Israeli opposite, Eli Cohen, in Rome last week. Cohen described the meeting as historic and the first step in the relationship between Israel and Libya. Libya's foreign ministry downplayed the meeting, calling it incidental and informal. But news of the talks sparked outrage and protests across several cities in Libya. Demonstrators closed off roads, burned Israeli flags and called for her immediate dismissal. Local media reports in Libya say Mangouj has left the country over concerns for her security. People here at this coffee shop support her termination. The protests are expected. As a citizen of Libya, I, along with the majority of Libyans, am against normalization with Israel. But I hope future protests remain peaceful. You can call for the dismissal of officials, but there's no need to burn tires and close off roads. Libya and Israel have no formal diplomatic relations. Under Libyan law, it's illegal to have unauthorized discussions with Israeli officials. The Palestinian cause is a very sensitive issue for Libyans. We have a long history of supporting Palestine. In regards to the government, if the Prime Minister knew of the meeting, that's a catastrophe. If he didn't know, that's even worse. If I was in his place, I would resign. Asad al Jarta is a political analyst. He says even if Mangouj was directed by the Prime Minister to meet Israeli officials, by law, she should have refused. If it was an incidental meeting, as the ministry says, she could have left and refused to talk to the Israelis. The foreign minister was wrong to attend this meeting. She is now paying the price. She has been fired and she no longer has a political future here in Libya. She may now also face criminal charges. The government says an investigation has been opened into Nejla Mengush's meeting with Eli Cohen. But people here remain extremely angry. Whether or not she will face criminal charges remains to be seen. Malatrena, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.